Hi, it's Nikki. Almost forgot my own name then. That would have been awkward. No, we're there. We've got it. How are you? Um, it's December and I know that Christmas is coming because people keep telling me and everybody slightly gets a bit Christmassy around this time of year and there's a lot of pressure to create the most perfect brilliant thing ever but you know what if you don't want to do that don't your perfect is more than enough and sometimes that's just sitting quietly by yourself for 10 minutes or um yeah having all of the people round to your house but certainly don't feel like you have to be stressed about things and also don't feel like you have to be stressed about next year at this time of year everybody's asking you to reflect on your year and share your biggest wins and your successes and um i feel like although it's good to be reflective although it's good to check in with where you are and what happened and all of that sort of stuff sometimes it can hold us back and it can keep us stuck and it can make us believe that what has happened so far as in the evidence that we see is going to be how it's going to be going forward for example we can get to the end of the year and we can think well i haven't actually done anything mega or amazing or i haven't had a seven figure business or i haven't written a book or i haven't sold out a retreat or I haven't had a baby, or I didn't get married to my dream person, or buy my amazing house that was hashtag gifted. Um, I don't think anybody actually gifts house, maybe kitchen, hashtag gifted, gifted kitchen, that's hard to say. Um, and what can happen is we look outside and see what everybody else's wins and whatever's happened. And then we can look at ourselves and our own brand and our own business and go, hang about, I... I don't know if I've done enough here or I haven't had that sort of societal tick of success and I've definitely had years like that where actually December has been pretty bleak the weather's been bleak the bank account's been bleak and um, it's been a time of like pff, that was kind of the overall feeling that I've been left with but I just wanted to share a couple of stories that will hopefully reassure you going forward. Bizarrely, last year and the year before, two brilliant opportunities came to me um, for like my work as an actor. And these both came in in December and I'd never had any connection with this company, or but each, there were two separate ones, these companies previously. And... I didn't have to audition, which is a novelty because for the last 25 years, I've sort of pounded the streets of Soho auditioning. I always feel like it's an expected thing still that I am one of those jobbing actors that has to audition. But these two opportunities came to me out of nowhere. Like there was no introduction. It wasn't a favor. It wasn't a friend of a friend. They literally flew into my inbox via my agent, like, would you like to do this? This is the deal, this is what you need to do. And both of them were like lovely jobs, really lovely jobs. And sometimes when things feel too easy, as in you get an opportunity or you get picked for something or um, you end up kind of landing a contract or a client or something like that, you can see my Hoover in the background, brilliant. Um, it can feel like it's unjust in some way because we haven't done the work, we haven't hustled hard or we haven't sent a million emails. But this is the thing, if you consistently show up and work stuff and almost like feed that machine of showing who you are and what you're all about, opportunities are going to come. It's, it's the whole sort of nature of doing it. So if you're feeding Google, if you're feeding social media, or if you're going out and telling enough people about what you do and what you're all about, 
you're going to have that ripple effect. So opportunities are going to come from nowhere. They are going to pop up and somebody is going to hear about you and somebody is suddenly going to randomly land on your website and go, oh my goodness, this is the perfect person. She looks great. She looks ready. Let's book her. Let's do this. And I want to remind you that if you have had that year where maybe you've got to end it, it like the end of it, and you're looking at your list of reflections or thinking about them in your head and you're going, yeah, but on paper, it doesn't look like I've done anything. Imagine that you've been kind of preparing this amazing veg patch. You don't see that perfect pumpkin maybe like within two weeks of um, laying the foundations or you don't have that like ripest tomato plant that just keeps on giving and people come around and they taste your mozzarella and tomato salad and go oh my goodness where did you get these from like that stuff is not necessarily seen immediately but that's not to say that you're not doing it that you're not in the game and those things will pay off later down the line so instead of i guess just looking at the fruits of your labor of the stuff that's come to the surface Look at all the foundations that you've built. Look at all the conversations. Look at all the pitches that maybe you've sent out that were maybe a no, but you did it anyway, so you got better. Look at the online courses that maybe you committed to, maybe you haven't finished. It's all good. All of these incremental moments start to pile up and start to work in your favor and give you those nudges that you are doing it, that you are taking care of the land, that things are growing, things are moving. And even if you can't see the rewards yet, they're trying to push through. And all you have to do is to keep nurturing them and keep looking at them and going, hiya, morning, yeah, cool, let's keep doing this, you're doing great and keeping yourself in that positive mindset. And I know that can be frustrating sometimes because we want it now. We want to have a Veruca Salt moment and we want it right now, daddy. But, you know, the good things are worth waiting for sometimes. But then there are other times where you actually don't have to wait that long, where you do get that amazing opportunity in your inbox or something happens that blows your socks off or you meet that person and then suddenly everything falls into place and the um, progress happens really quickly. So be kind to yourself when you're thinking about this and don't just look at the outcomes that you've achieved. Sometimes putting the stuff behind the scenes, the systems in place, the boundaries, the um, personal shifts that you've had to make. Maybe it's those moments where you spoke to your partner and you said, look, I'm going to need a bit of help here. Or I'd like us to move forward in this kind of way. Or how you start to speak to your kids. Or like, I don't know, the Tupperware system you've put in place in your kitchen. I've bought flannels for everybody. Yeah, that's right. That's where my life is as a 38-year-old woman. Uh, everybody has their own colour flannels and towels. Game changing. Send me a DM if you want to talk further about that probably don't but it's there for you I'm there for you um yeah that's what I want to say um reflection is something we're going to be doing a lot in my 2020 like January thing so if you want to find out more details I would love to have you and support you and um yeah just be kind mate just be kind to yourself you've done loads of great things and also as well if you haven't and if you know that you sat on your ass for most of the year as well, you'll know that as well. <laughs> so next year will be different. I'm sure of it. Anyway, all the details down below. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.